Hello there, uh, my name is Laura Noon and I am a second year biology student at Durham University with my particular interest involving signalling pathways and how plants respond to their biotic and abiotic environments. So this summer I completed my um, summer placement at the John Innes Centre in Norwich. When I initially saw that this project was being advertised, um, I thought it would be a wonderful opportunity for me to undertake some research in my field of interest. Um, and get a first-hand realistic view of what it would be like um, to do a PhD, which is something that I am quite interested in pursuing in my future. Um, so I found that working with the PhD students at the John Innes Centre has been a wonderful opportunity. So my project aim whilst I was there um, was to determine which hormone pathways are activated in Arabidopsis um, in response to feeding uh, from the aphid um, R. padi. Within this area of plant science, there are several unknowns relating to plant perception of aphid attack. It's suggested by some that aphid feeding on plants leads to a wounding response, which involves the use of GLR receptors and calcium signaling. And then this goes on to produce the downstream jasmonic acid hormone response in the plant. It's suggested by others that aphid derived molecules are recognized by the plant, which triggers an immune response. And then this leads to a downstream salicylic acid hormone response. So the aim of my project was to clarify which of these hormone responses are taking place. Uh, and this was done using fluorescence microscopy um, and looking at reported plants um, to visualize the downstream hormone response of aphid feeding. As a result of my experiments, I was able to determine that both jasmonic acid hormone responses and salicylic acid hormone responses take place downstream of R pad I feeding. However, it was found that jasmonic acid responses occurred far more frequently than the salicylic acid responses. And it is not always guaranteed that a hormone response will be activated downstream of aphid feeding. Through my project, I was very lucky to have a hands-on lab experience, um, which has allowed me to learn new skills that I otherwise might not have been able to learn, especially due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, I really enjoyed the use of fluorescence microscopy and definitely working with the aphids. Um, and it was really fascinating to see all the facilities available at the John Innes Centre and the research that's currently ongoing. So thanks to my time at the John Innes Centre, I was able to develop my skills as a researcher uh, and I'm now definitely more determined to pursue a PhD and help to contribute to this very vital field of research. I would like to thank the Hogan Hout Lab for hosting me and to the BSPP for making this wonderful opportunity realistic. Thank you very much.